Today I am at my workbench fitting pick ups on the tender of a locomotive for my model railway in N-gauge. How hard can that be? So let's have a look at this tender pickup kit. Um, it's a few pieces of metal, which I'll go through in a minute, um, and these instructions. This is the tender that I want to fit it to. And so uh, we need to take this apart. Um, in the bottom of the tender, there's this long, uh, long sort of black piece that the wheels are held in. And that's uh, this piece here in the instructions. So there's one pickup there, it's a piece of metal with two little tabs that reach out to the, uh, the wheels on either end of the tender, an insulator, and then another piece. And it shows here the wire uh, attaching to this pickup. The bottom pickup makes contact with this piece that uh, houses the, the axles. And this is made of metal and it's attached to the chassis um, and uh, it's attached through uh, the metal this metal rod in the truck here as well so uh, which then attaches the chassis on the loco so in theory that bottom pickup is attached to the chassis on the loco i think maybe the first thing we want to do is just take this uh, tender to bits now, as it happens, you can get the top off by just giving it a bit of a tug. There you go. The tender comes off. So we've, we're just left with this uh, this base with the wheels in. Um, good thing about this, this eventually I want to try and put a DCC decoder in this tender. And so this is the space that I have to work with. We'll come, come on to that in another video, I think. So this base, this is very simple. There's a single screw that uh, holds it together. And I can undo that. There we go. I take that screw out. And then I can remove Put some tweezers. I can remove this bottom piece. Just a piece of plastic. Now you can see there's a metal uh, metal piece, and I can take out the axles. One, two, three. Um, if we have a look at one of these axles, um, you may not be able to see it. Uh, but if I look very carefully, I can see that both wheels are insulated from the axle. So it doesn't matter that the axle is in contact with this, uh, this metal piece here of the chassis. Um, and each wheel will have a pickup on the inside uh, where it makes contact. Now this metal piece, um, I believe it's, it's held in place as a little tab there. You can just lift it out and I think there's also this plastic bit. And I think this fits on top normally. There you go, that goes on there. So to fit our um, pickups. We take one of these uh, one of these and we pop it on there. Now I slightly brutalized this piece already and we'll, I'll explain a bit later why. Um, And then 
this can go on there and then the other pickup goes on the top so that's good so the bottom set of pickups are on one side and they connect to the chassis which is a metal piece at the bottom and then these ones on the top uh, pick up from the other side and they are insulated uh, from the first pickup by this plastic piece but they have a little solder tab on the top there when this is then put back into here there's a little hole just here for this solder tab to poke through you could then attach solder on the little wire and the wire then feeds through to the loco um, and that gives you your circuit so you've got pickups from both sides in the tender and that works great for a dc uh, loco but i'm trying to fit a dcc decoder now I could just use it as it is, but I do already have a wire in the chassis that's going to be feeding through to the tender. So really what I'd like to be able to do is to attach that um, also to the pickups that are attached to the chassis, uh, just sort of for completeness really. Um, and so I'm not dependent, depending on the uh, connection through the truck here. And to do that, I'm going to use this other insulator. I'm a, I'm a little bit confused about, um, I seem to, I got two of these. I think one of them came in the packet um, and I get confused about which one. Um, I'm obviously in a bit of a muddle, but never mind. Um, I think I've got all the pieces I want. So I'm going to take uh, this one and what I've done is I've just ever so slightly cut along the edge there so that this tab folds up a little bit further back instead of lying flat and that's why it's a bit of a mess at the moment because I've I've hacked around at it but I can fold Fold that up and then that can feed through this center hole in this insulator and I can then put this other insulator on the other way around and I've then got two tabs but there's a bit of a problem and that's that the two uh, tabs from the two insulators uh, look dangerously close to touching and if they do touch I'm going to get a short so that's no fun so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this top uh, pickup as well so that it folds up a little bit further back as well, a little bit further away from the other one. And I'm also going to take a tiny piece of heat shrink and use that to insulate these two tabs, certainly the, this one, um, so I can pull it through. Uh, and have it insulated and not create a short. There we go. Well, I've cut a little flap out, um, which makes this fold out a little bit further back. You may be able to see there's now a bit more of a gap between the two. So I'm reasonably pleased with that. If I just have a look at how this works, um, I believe. Pop that on, and they both, both these tabs fit through the hole in this uh, truck base. 
we go. So if I pop a bit of heat shrink on, and then I should be able to have two the two tabs. I can fold them out, one that way and one that way. And uh, that should work nicely. And I've then got my pickups here, and I just have to fit the wheels back in somehow. Well, I've reassembled it, and I'm quite pleased. Um, I can see there's a tiny bit of heat shrink there on the one side, which should be insulating it uh, from the other. Let's, let me see if we can get that in focus for you. Um, hopefully you can see that. Um, so I can now do a connectivity test between the two and see if they're shorting out. I'm expecting there not to be a short, that's what I'm hoping for. Lucky me, there isn't a short. See, there's no short from one side to the other. So I've got pickups on both sides of the tender, and I'm going to have a tab, um, one for each side at the top that I can solder onto. I'm going to try and uh, reassemble this a bit now. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully this won't be that much for drama for me. Hopefully if I fold those two tabs out like that. That will be good enough. So let me see if they short out or not. The one with the heat shrink on, that's the one that's uh, connected to the chassis. And the other one isn't. And they don't short. So that's brilliant. All right. So without it all falling apart, the next thing is to see if I can get the uh, the wheels on. This is a bit tricky because uh, I need to get the um, I need to get the pickups in between the wheels. Let's see this. That's better. That's one of the pickup pieces wasn't quite centered the way it should be. Um, and I think a way of doing this would be to get the tweezers, get them either side on the out. Oh, I've bent my tweezers. I haven't managed that. There we go. That's, that's the wrong way. It's even worse now. If I can put the tweezers either side of the pickups and then draw it along and hold them in, then I can drop the wheels down. Is that working? Possibly not. Perhaps I need to do it from the back. So if I use the tweezers here to hmm. Not sure about this. So we've managed to get this far. I think I've got the pickups in place. I've got the wheels in place, and I've also put the the coupling in. Um, in order to to do this, this is amazingly difficult. Uh, getting the wheels in and and so on. I've put this screw in just to hold it together while I get the wheels in with the couplings, uh, with the pickups and the coupling. And now I just have to take the screw out, put this piece on and put the screw back in without anything popping out of place. 
So wish me luck. So I think what I want to do is check the meter. It's not shorting out. It's not. Let's see. Um, so it's connected to that side. Well, that's connected to that side. Brilliant. There we go. Well, I'm pretty confident I've got those installed very nicely. Um, I've got my two tabs and uh, I can solder uh, wires onto there and take um, take those connections. So that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Uh, next step is to try and install the actual DCC decoder. And I expect that'll be the next video.